All right, we're picking up right now. Let's see what we got. We got the uh, Nutsmith Ling is using tanks and getting stuck behind their own Marauders, not having any control. Uh, the third is destroyed handily, uh, while the fourth is just chilling out there by itself. Zerg is going to move up with Hydro, and uh, I always forget that guy, and Ravager, uh, producing not much results there. Uh, tanks are sitting back, pretty idle. Uh, Zerg could definitely go attack, or that looks like the Terran wants to go push forward. Okay, here we go. We got a push forward now. Uh, spread is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, Zerg is expecting the drop. And, uh, not really much done over here. Now they're finally pushing up. They're trying to kill off the like, many units, and looks like that is done. Uh, still high amounts of minerals, gas, still on both ends. Uh, probably a silver level play, maybe gold uh, production we got here. Looks like just tank, marauder, marines. A little low at this point, 10 minute mark. Uh, should be more, I'd say. Zerg is going with the run by. Uh, pretty good to do that. Good throw, a good amount of wins for that. Looks like Zerg is not going with the Lurker, surprisingly enough. Just gonna move off creep using a small amount of Ravagers and Hydras that are very weak. Uh, bird units would probably be well in his interest. Okay, now we got the Lurker dead. Looks like it might have been a little late on uh, that last push. Okay, Zerg just M moves right in front. He's trying to kill the Lurkers uh, here. All the units wiped out. At least he's got that third. That's one saving thing for that push out there. Uh, I would say also at this point, given that these Terran unit is showing drop ships, should be getting some hydra, uh, some mutalisks. Uh, Terran is making additional barracks. While Zerg is still baking on roaches and the future lurk dead. Good thing he's doing the upgrades. Uh, I don't know if he's got upgrades. He's got no upgrades. No upgrades. Uh, he's got Marines with 1-1. One, one. And now it looks like he's going to do another push. Uh, Zerg at this point should be expanding rapidly with the given amount of minerals. Okay, he's just dumped in a lot of money towards Hydralisks. Uh, doesn't have enough bank to make a sufficient amount of Lurkers, but... Uh, okay, here we go. He's got... Yeah, he's, he should get a lot more gas at this point. Aaron is moving up, trying to creep, getting pushed back easily by such a small force because he didn't unload. He's trying to pull back, drop the tanks, and a little bit too late at that one, I say. And the entire push is destroyed. So Aaron is in a very back kind of position. All you can bank on is a bunch of useless SCV sitting in a corner. That's pretty noobish. Um, Okay, good. He's expanding his creep. He's got one active queen in the front. He is still not taking gas. That's pretty bad. And he has a high advantage. Um, green tumors can be moving a little bit far forward, but that's okay. Uh, he's got one one here. He's almost out of minerals over on the main. And injecting good. Okay, he's got the second upgrade for attack. That's good. And he's finally getting the gas, that's good. Uh, Terran here has got more idle SCVs. Oh good, he cleaned up those SCVs over there. It's probably from me pulled back when he was getting attacked. And that's good, he's got a vision. He could expand out the vision a little more, I would say. And he should be making up oh, there you go, he's got some lurkers producing in the back. That is great. Uh, looks like he should be over at the next tier, I would say, at the 14 minute mark. APM seems roughly average, probably for gold or silver level. Uh, we got now transition out. Terran is now moving on to the fourth. The Zerg is very far behind, I would say. If the Terran is going up to the fourth, he has no vision on that. Maybe a couple wings going around at this point. Yep, there you go. Get that vision. Go look at the expansions. Don't go for the main force, but look for the expansions. Here, here, here. In that order, I would say. Good, he's getting gas, now he's going to get enough money, and now he should get a lot more burgers, or, or 
upgrades. Yes, he is getting melee upgrades. Still not upgrading to Hive. Okay, he's got idle things here. Maybe he's going to Baneling this, Stan? I don't think so, but that would be an extremely good idea, considering he was just going to rain in the water. He got uh, five, which is kind of overkill. Over here, he's still got the CC being produced. And it's done. He is sitting on a lot of minerals. Producing many units. Okay, now he's transitioning to liberators. That is probably a really good idea. I could go in and start crippling some of the bases. Entering that area is going to be pretty difficult. And the vector. Okay, we got a movement up here. Uh, he probably clean up some creative in his ISIS scan. He's got a position. Siege tanks. Zerg has no real ability to attack. He's moving around trying to kill some experts. Okay, that's good. Good. He's moving over there to kill any supporting. Pretty much out of scale. Zerg is going to be losing all these Zerglings. Continues. Unfortunately, Terran forgot about tanks. Forgot about tanks. Must be uh, able to get back to the head. Liberation zone is going down. Terran is using up so much. Stim. These are going to be soon to be out of energy. Medivax. Still doing okay. Let's say at this point, the Terran might be in the lead. Okay, Zerg is getting a hint. He needs to expand. Expand, expand. Should actually be using this direction to attack. There you go. He's going into the attack at this point because this is actually the most optimal. Or should we just move them all at once? Look at the oversaturation. Good. Split up the forces right inside. And then additional attacks. Yes, he's moving now. The other unit's coming down. That is good. Should produce more lanes or roaches would be good out here, I would say. We got the advantage on attack. A little bit. Really probably should get some bane lanes or air at this stage of the game. He's finally moved up to the hive. That is good. Uh, Terran is neglecting upgrades and just producing liberators. Okay, so we got more Hydras, 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 oversaturation of drones over here. Drones here, and doesn't have the other gas, that's okay though, but uh, probably should get that. And he could just sit back and get as many bases as he wants. This is the point where you get all the bases, let's say, all the bases. And you could start throwing away your tier 2 units at the Terran. He really needs Banelings. If he just had Balings, this would be total GG. Total, total GG. But, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, should we already be on tier 3 units? Should have either Ultralisks. Um, yeah, he's got to transition up to a higher tech, because if the Terran upgrades to 3-3, three, three, these units will be pretty much pointless without any additional splash damage. Uh, don't see many. Okay, now we got the Ultralist dead. That is good. Um, he needs to upgrade his Zerglings. Okay, that is good. There he goes. And he needs more units. Sacrifice more units. And, oh god, he's going this route. It's got to be some sort of. Uh, it doesn't know to go this way, it doesn't know how to path in that direction. I guess an AI flaw. Yes, go. Just kill the uh, units down there. That's a good idea. Terran is just sitting in the middle, not knowing what to do. It's kind of stuck. Maybe just looking at his units dying. Trying to control those units, I would presume. Uh, we got the APM over here. It's relatively low, especially for high tense situations. So, may not be the super caliber on the Terran side there. Production. Finally, he <laughs> told that is so much. That means you just had a lot of supply. Now, these bases are going to go. Uh, now, we're going to be in a base race situation with the Zerg units over on the opposite side. Uh, these tend to favor the Terran, I would say, especially without any flying units for the Zerg. Uh, a lot of Marauders. Marauders, Banelings would do really good in this situation. Uh, even with the four Libres. We have 12 units to push this up with Banelings. So it is. 
Alright, so we got Tim killing off his tiny eco base, and Zerg has finally decided to actually use some of that minerals and expand to the other bases. That's good. I'm gonna leave the Zerg and are killing off the, what's left in the main. And with the Ultralisks, he can meet up with his rest of his forces and defend his third. I would say a trap allows the unit to come up and. Uh, okay, here we go. He's gonna try to push behind the Ultralisks. Not bad. Oh, Stutter stepping a little bit. And Balin's would be nice. And there's really all his units. Banelings, Banelings, Banelings. Whenever some Terran goes ground like that, you need Banelings. Or anything else that can AoE. Uh, Alright, so everything is going to be much wiped out, I would say. Zerg only has a few heroes killing off the expansions, and a few uncontested Zerglings are killing off the main section. Oh, now that you got the attention of so. Micro Man. The Terran is killing off whatever Zerg has at this point. He's about to run into a pretty long game. Um, Zerg doesn't really have that much money. He's got all his drones over here. Instead of the gold, he's got them over at the regular minerals. He's producing another base. Now, four on the base race. It looks like all upgrades and production has stopped, especially for Terran for the longest time. He is getting to sit back with nothing. Couldn't even float at one. Mancer to the gold that's sitting out here by itself. That is pretty sad. Oh my god, he's got a command center sitting out there floating to nothing. Stupid. Okay, now Zerg is losing all his production control units. Is, uh, good, he's moving over to the gold. That's exactly what you should do. Press C to. There you go. Set it back to home. And there goes my production. So, Alright, Joker, you got. Spawn pool, starting from scratch, killing off floating units, that is good. Yes, do not go back and try to defend from that is obviously a bad, bad decision. Just kill as much as you can. Allow the Terran to float, but with this single... How many lurkers does this guy have? How many lurkers does Joker have? Had? He's got one. That one can make a big difference when you got everything floating, especially for Orbital Command. That's not going to help you. Terran is probably just going to move over and try to find the remaining bases. Notice how Zerg decided that now he's going to expand to any base he can to gather as many minerals as possible. Something he should have done when he had a lot of minerals, but unfortunately, say that he. So, he is upgrading now to Hatchery. I'm going to guess he's going to probably throw down a bunch of gases and get his Muta's production out there with a spire, so uh, let's watch and see with all these floating buildings. Terran probably feels very comfortable at this point. Um, Zerg has nothing up here except some creep tumors, and he's gonna lose his gold. Oh, look at that. One lurker. Yeah, all you need to do is just let them just get sucked up and die. I realize that he can't attack. He's gonna move up in there. So. We need to get micro back. Good. All right. At this point, what are you gonna do? You're going to <laughs> liberation zone this area that does nothing. That's what he's actually trying to do, because he knows that there's no air at units that kill him. So he's just gonna sit back and try to kill as many something as possible. Okay. I guess he's gonna be killing off these uh, larvas. Okay, so realize that flying units prevent that from landing, can't detect. Terran is stuck. Terran is stuck. He may only think that he can only go here without splitting up his units, maybe, and maybe using his dropship and send one dropship to any of these other places and kill stuff. Who knows? Maybe he thinks that this is it. I think this is it. In his mind, he probably thinks this is the only thing that's saving him, but he's too scared of lurkers. Okay, the lurker moved, and... Oh my god, don't move. Oh, he is going to lose this lurker. Run, 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 and... What? <laughs> okay, they so recognize that there's another base. A uh, lurker was pretty helpful, but... Uh, Alright, what is the Terran going to do? Is he going to just float around, kill off the remaining stuff? Okay, Zerg decided with a good bank that he's got, he's going to expand again. Gonna drag this one out. Drag this one out. 
It's pretty unfavorable for the Zerg. Um, if he had mailings, he would totally crush his ground units. Yeah, he's just gonna wait. He's got probably he's got four drones. Uh, they're only sitting there at the gold. He's gonna go back, try to protect his main while this guy. All he can think of is that he is up against this single base. That's what I would think of at this point. He is uh, moving around. He is going to land. All right, he has got in his mind that landing on the left side is safe. Zerg on the other hand is moving around. Oh, he is trapped. That was a rather unfortunate position without any burrow. He is incapable of protecting his units. And Zerg has got landed. Okay, Zerg, uh, Terran's got landed. He is going to be able to produce his SEVs and call down, I would presume. No, he's not going to call down any of the mules at this point. So, oh, here we go. He can't produce anything because you don't have any supply depots. You need to drop mules. Yes, you have too much units, no supply depots. Uh, you need at least one SCV, bro. You need to at least drop a mule, produce some supply depots or something. Okay, he's gonna go straight for the gold, which is a good idea. Probably totally unaware of this other base that's producing a couple drones. And, what, did he just leave every single, oh my god. <laughs> he left. Is only command center behind. Okay. And everything is going to die. Because that is the most derpiest thing I've ever seen. Why would you float all your buildings into a spot where they can get killed? And now he's moving his units. He is going to lose them to Hydralisks. He's going to lose them to... Okay, they got out of range. Alright, so Terran's moving back up, killing the remaining new bases that were being produced. Uh, is there still getting hit? No? Okay. She just literally has two bases and one lurker. One ultralisk. It'd be a good idea to probably just to hang one unit back here, keep vision, but not like you can produce anything with no command center. I'm sure that is probably visible for the Zerg. Joker had to see that there are nothing but just floating barracks. Uh, liberation zones? <laughs> Forgotten. This guy does not really control his units. Probably has no depth. He has nothing for control, just reductions. Uh, and we are down to one producing hatchery and three floating barracks. Two sides meet up and they're just three they are drones. Oh god, you can just go in there and kill it. Did he just he just lost it now? Okay. Uh so he's gonna lose. This one the barrel. Nope, he cannot bear it, but he lost all his Yes, he had lost his dropship. What we see is what we got. This is all was remaining for Terran. They are gonna not be able to produce anything. Oh my god, this one lurker, yes, the one lurker, you have vision, you could go, oh yes, just sit there and allow the stupid Terran to walk all over the place, one giant group, he has dropships up in the corner, they're hotkeyed one, what are you doing Terran, I think that is all, you're gonna walk into a trap, so I guess, position there, beat him in, that is what anybody would do, okay, you got vision on that, yep, you are losing this, you are trapped, there you go, GG'd. Not even GG'd. Sad.